superhero in school. Its next student is boldly going to learn what no other superhero has learned before. Yes, this is the story of Maths Man. More than half a man, it's Maths Man. Oh, this must be my learning pod. Hello. Today is my first day at school. You're late. Uh, it's this map. I took the wrong turn at the Great Constellation. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Not Your Highness, Your Wholeness. Wholeness? What? As in a whole? <laughs> no. Wholeness as in entireness, totalness, complete and utterness. Sorry. Where are you? I can be anywhere you want me to be. But mostly, I'm here. Welcome to Superhero School, the finest teaching academy in the galaxy. Here, we turn young wannabes like yourself into fully-fledged superheroes. Superman, Batman, Trifle Man, they all started here. Now, which superhero would you like to become? Well, uh, I've had a look in your brochure, and I quite like Matt's man. Ready to build and split whole numbers into parts of numbers other superheroes cannot reach. Well, there's a lot to learn if you want to become maths man. Let's see, where shall we start? Oh, yes, this looks interesting. Fractions. Are you familiar with them? I do know a little bit about fractions. Good. Then let the training commence. Here is your intergalactic interactive learning screen. Let's start with halves. You know what a half is? Yes, I've seen halves before. Look, I can fold my map in half. Ah, oh, yes, your map is folded exactly into two equal parts. Folding is good, maths man, but at this school, we will be zapping. Can you zap? <laughs> can I zap? Hand zapping. <laughs> That's way out of date. Have you not heard of mind zapping? It's very easy. You just think of a shape, let the fraction force be with you, and hey, presto, it will appear. <laughs> That's better. A diamond. Now split it into two. <laughs> Spot on. A diamond split into equal parts. Each part is half. Oh, yeah, but halves are for beginners. OK, then. I think we could be talking quarters. Hmm. I'll show you a dancing shape. When it splits up, call out the fractions you see. One quarter and three quarters. Two quarters and two quarters. One half and one half. I can recognise quarters when I see them, but when it comes to writing them out, I sometimes forget which number goes on the bottom and which goes on the top. Exactly why we're here, maths man. Here's something to help you remember. This shape is split into four equal parts. One part is coloured in. So to write the fraction, Firstly, we put down our dividing line. Now, when working out which number goes on the bottom, we call this the denominator. Simply remember this rhyme. How many equal parts can you find? Write this under the dividing line. How many equal parts can you find? Well, there were four. Write this under the dividing line. Piece of cake! But what about the top number? The numerator. Um, try this rhyme. How many parts do we want this time? Write this number above the line. How many parts do we want this time? Well, that's the coloured parts. And there is one of them. Write this number above the line. So that's one part out of the four, or one over four, which is a quarter. Well done, maths man. Let's move on. How are your balancing skills? What do you mean? You're standing on the fraction number line tightrope. The what? <gasps> oh. 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 
I'm afraid of height. Huh? It's OK. But look, what's this got to do with fractions? Well, we can look at fractions on the number line. Now, the end nearest you is zero, the other end is one. See what happens when you walk the tightrope. One quarter. Two quarters. This feels like halfway to me. One half. Yeah, I was right. It looks as though two quarters is the same as a half. Three quarters. One. Oh, I was expecting four quarters. Four quarters must be the same as one. Oh, good job, maths man. I think you need to recover from your ordeal. Here's Colin Cool. But for find the fraction. <laughs> ah, Colin Cool's the name. Fractions of the game on today's Find the Fraction. <laughs> OK, we have the blues, we have the reds, we have the questions. So let's play Find the Fraction. Look to your monitors, question number one. If this cake is divided equally amongst four people, what fraction will each person get? Is the answer A, one half, B, four quarters, or C, one quarter? Make your choice and find the fraction. And time's up. <laughs> and both teams have answered C, but the answer is... C! Yes. Well done. Give yourself two points. And look to your monitors, question number two. Roughly, how full is this glass of delicious blackcurrant juice? Is it A, one quarter full, B, three quarters full, or C, two quarters full? Make your choice. Find the fraction. <laughs> And time's up. <laughs> and incredibly, both have said B. The answer to the question is B. So well done. Give yourself two more points. Look to your monitors. Question number three. This train has four carriages. What fraction of the train is still in the tunnel? Is it A, a half, B, two halves, or C, one quarter? Make a choice. Find the fraction. And time's up. Now the red team have answered A, and the blue team have answered B. The correct answer to the question is A. Well done, red team. Give yourself two points. And this noise means we've run out of time. Let's count up the final scores. The blue team have a wonderful four points, but this week's winners are the red team with six points. <laughs> now, Amy, your job is to find the half blocks and the quarter blocks hidden within the balloons. And Sharif, your job is to build a fraction wall with them. Can they do it? Let's find out as we find the fraction. <laughs> Today, the red team are looking for two half blocks and four quarter blocks. Didn't they build well? <laughs> well, let's have a look at your fraction wall. You've got two halves. That makes one whole. And you've got four quarters. That makes a whole, too. Congratulations. You've built the perfect quarter and half fraction wall. <laughs> but sadly, we run out of time. But never mind. We'll see you next time on Find the Fraction. <laughs> Do you know there are fractions almost everywhere? You don't believe me? 
Well, here's the man to prove it. It's Harry Hansen with Sports Stand. Sports Stand. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Sports Stand. I'm Sue Harker. And I'm Harry Hansen. Marvellous. Today we're going to be looking at the 1990 Commonwealth Games where England won gold in the 4x100 metres relay. Harry. Oh, yeah. Do I not remember this? Oof. Not so much for the race, of course, but for the absolutely stunning fractions. Let's see what happened. This time they go. And they're off. Calendar. A terrific start, Harry. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, him. but you're Scotland missing the well. fractions there, Sue. So look, stop. <laughs> Let's go back. Right. Here is the whole team. Uh, there are four runners in the team. So the four runners make up the whole four equal parts. What's really important here, Sue, is that he is the first runner out of the four. That's one out of the four, or one quarter, one quarter of the whole team of four. <laughs> Sue. Terrific. <clears throat> and then... Oh, and then, of course, he hands the baton over to the next one. And look! He's a amazing! What? The handover of the baton? No, the fractions. Because the next runner is the second out of the four. That's two out of the four, or two quarters of the whole team. Oh, well, moving on. Of course, then the third runner's Marcus, next. He's the third out of the four. Marcus, so there's one, really two... Three quarters of the way through the team. <laughs> Shall we continue? Now then, the last one. Look at him go. Yeah, yeah, of course, the last runner. He finishes first. He wins the gold for England. But look, look, he's the fourth out of the four. That makes four quarters, which makes one hole. Would you please let me get a word in edgeways? Go ahead. Thank you. Well, obviously, the race is over now. So, uh, <laughs> that's it from Sports Dan this week. With so, me... from me and Susie and the Fractions, it's goodbye. Sports Dan! OK, Harry Hansen's good. But there were no fractions there that I couldn't handle. Hmm, ready for something trickier, eh? Hey? The number 12. What is three quarters of the number 12? Well, it's, um. Well, you simply... Come on, then, give us a clue. <laughs> OK. I'll do the first part, and then you take over. Now, a good way of doing this is to find what one quarter is, and then you can work out what three quarters is. First, we'll turn the 12 into something easier. Now, the quarter blocks on the fraction wall will come in handy, too. OK, maths man? Split the 12 sweets into quarters. Split them into quarters. Now, if I remember, that means splitting them into four equal parts. So, one quarter of 12 is three, two quarters of 12 are six, and three quarters of 12 are nine. Answer, nine. Excellent. Well done, maths man. Now, let's go back to when you found one quarter of 12. Another way of doing this is to split the 12 into four equal groups, like this. Just a second. 12 split into four groups is the same as saying 12 divided by four. So to find a quarter of a number, you divide by four. Fantastic fractions, Your Holiness. That's brilliant. Oh, dear. Yes, what? The diddler? Oh, where? Children? Oh, no. Who is it? The diddler. The dastardly, diddliest dandy of them all. And it looks like there's going to be some diddling down on planet Earth. Those children need help. They need a superhero. They need... Maths, man. I'm on me way. Let's have a break. Mum left some oranges for us. Mum left 
me, I own this. There are four of us, so that should be... Two each. So, one for you, one for you, one for you and one for me. One for you, one for you, one for you and none for me. That can't be right. Just a second. You said there were eight oranges, but there are only seven. So that means one of our oranges is missing. Shh. So what are we going to do? We need help. Yes, we need... Mouse Man! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? <laughs> no, it's Mouse Man. Ready to build and split whole numbers into parts of numbers other superheroes cannot reach. Greetings, Earth children. What's the problem? We have to share seven oranges between us. There are four of us. We each get one whole orange, but what do we do with the other three? No, oh, I see. Well, there are four of you, so why not split the remaining oranges into quarters? That's four equal parts. Then we know you'll each be getting the same amount. Now let me show you. First, I'll zap my fraction food cutter. Now, I'll cut the oranges in half. Cut it in half. And then cut the halves in half again. Like this. Ta-da! So that's four equal parts, or four quarters. So, that's... One quarter for you, madam. One quarter for you, madam. One quarter for you, sir. And one quarter for you, madam. Now the next orange. In half. And half again. Makes four quarters. Now, you share it out, Earth Child. One quarter for me, one quarter for you, one quarter for you, and one quarter for you. And the last orange. In half, and then in half again. Uh, your turn. One quarter for you, one quarter for you, one quarter for you, and one quarter for me. So, how many quarters do you each have? Three, three quarters. Correct. So, all together, seven oranges divided among four children is one and three quarter oranges each. Thanks, Mass Man. You're the best. No problem. And remember, when you don't understand, and maybe you need a hand, who you gonna call? Mass Man. Up, up, in the air. Well done, Mass Man. You saved the day. Does that mean I'm a qualified superhero? You must be joking. You've only just started. But you have passed your halves and quarters. <laughs> Will Maths Man become a fully-fledged superhero? Will he ever become a whole man? Find out in the next exciting episode of Megamance. <laughs>